All right, let's take you outside. We've got ourselves a cloudy one. There have been showers today. Uh, it has been a, a relatively quiet day in spite of the showers that we had. It's 41 degrees right now. The winds are light. That's going to change tomorrow. It'll be just an all out rain and the winds will not be light. They're going to be very strong out of the coast right now. A few signs, a few glimpses of light out of the beach. Nice to be able to see at least some light in the sky at 518. A month ago, we were not able to do that. So yeah, the days have gotten a little bit longer, certainly on the sunset side. And now sunrise just within the last couple of days is beginning to happen very slowly at first, but beginning to happen a little bit earlier. So we are turning towards the light. How about that? 41 degrees out of the beach with some clearing out at Newport right now on Doppler radar. Nothing going on in the valleys, but offshore you see this band of rain. That is a weak warm front. That's the leading edge of the next weather system. Let's check the passes though. Still socked in. Uh, that's just snow on the lens at government camp. There's no new snow. Uh, fall, no snow falling right now down at Santa Ana Pass, 25 degrees and road covered with snow and we've got some black pavement at uh, Willamette Pass, but again, 25 degrees and the roads are going to be really uh, you give it 24 hours. The roads are going to become an absolute mess tomorrow night into Saturday and Sunday up in the Cascades. Tomorrow during the day won't be too bad because the system is still approaching us, but it's a strong one and there's a good source of cold air behind it. And it's it's not just this system by itself. This one is a pattern changer in that it's going to allow colder air from Canada to begin to filter into the Northwest gradually at first, but by early next week, we're going to be feeling the chill in a very big way. So tomorrow, lots of rain in the valley. These lines mean wind. That's why we have the wind advisory. As we go into Saturday, we still have rain with snow continuing in the Cascades. It never really stops through the weekend. Then this is Sunday. We begin to see low pressure form off the coast of uh, Vancouver Island. That's going to help this colder Arctic air to begin to infiltrate the area. Not so much, I think, early on Monday, but later on Monday and Monday night. And that's when we tap into that cold air. And that's when we should actually see the wind switch around and come out of the east. We're going to get a good east wind at some point next week, and that'll help to keep us cold. As far as the valleys go, the best chance for valley snow will be with the initial surge of that cold air. I think Monday night and into Tuesday morning, things will lighten up Tuesday, but then Wednesday and into Thursday, if we get low pressure approaching us from the west and southwest, that'll strengthen the east wind keep us cold. We add the moisture and that's a more of a classic recipe for Portland snow. So we'll have to wait and see how it all shakes out. But we've got a couple of chances of valley snow next week before things begin to warm up. So right now we're dealing with wind. We've got a wind advisory right here for the entire Willamette Valley and up to Longview for gusts as high as 45 or 50 miles an hour. That's a winter storm warning in the Cascades, not just the Cascades with the mountains of Northeast Oregon, Eastern Washington, the Idaho Panhandle, even the Olympic Mountains and then on the coast. We've got a high surf warning down here on the southern Oregon coast and coastal flood issues or concerns anyway for Friday night and Saturday as this swell train moves right into the northern Oregon coast and we have big high tides because of the full moon. So look for 25 to 30 foot swells on the Oregon coast and some of the outlying swells will be even higher as we go into the weekend. Saturday looks like the big day for the swells at the beaches. Our high is 42 right now or today. 46 in Roseburg, 45 Hermiston, Lagrange is 35 in Baker City, 36 this afternoon. In Portland, we're sitting at 41 right now. A little bit of rain falling from the sky. On the coast, coastal flood advisory, rainy, windy, gusts of 55 miles an hour there. For the valleys, we got a wind advisory. It's going to be rainy and windy tomorrow, gusts of 45. Make sure those garbage cans are stowed. Winter storm warning in the Cascades will go 10 to 16 inches. That's just during the day tomorrow, and it really comes down tomorrow night. And on Saturday, a couple of feet on the way there. Central and Eastern Oregon, rain and snow. Your snow level about 1,500 feet, but getting colder this weekend. There will be snow in the Columbia Basin. And then rain after midnight tonight for Portland and rainy and windy tomorrow. Our highs will be in the 40s through Monday. Then we're in the 30s as we tap into that cold air.